government regulations for AI. Oh, dear. But apparently he didn't do it alone. Biden reportedly getting a big assist from his former boss, President Obama, who visited the White House to help Biden and his staff on the AI initiative. And it doesn't end there. Obama now taping robocalls for the Democrats in key Virginia legislative races, raising questions about how just how involved he is in national affairs. Fox News contributor Raymond Arroyo joins us now. So, Raymond, I was under the impression that AI was under Kamala's portfolio, which well, didn't give me a lot of confidence. Well, but now we hear it's really Obama. Well, Rachel, remember in the old James Bond series, there was Spectre, which was this shadowy organization yes. with its tentacles into everything. That's Barack Obama when it comes to the Biden White House. Here's why. Does that we, make Joe Biden James Bond? Well, right? not quite. More, <laughs> okay. more, more like a very aged variety. Uh, here's the um, Inspector Clouseau. Here's the reality. You have someone who for five months, Barack Obama has been the consultant on AI, not only consultant, he's been interfacing with the tech companies and the White House. Let's face it. He wrote this executive order that Biden sent out to the world. And then he put words in Kamala Harris's mouth because it is Obama who's obsessed with this idea of, and I'm going to quote it, algorithmic discrimination and bias in AI, uh -huh. meaning diversity and equity in AI. He wants to import those values to control the growth of AI and to have the government keep its paw on top of the innovation that's possible in AI. Now, look, there are real dangers here. That doesn't here. surprise me at all, no, actually, that Obama a... would want to use AI for his own political power and the, in the power of his movement. Yes, and he claims it's information. He wants to control the disinformation. Where have we heard this before, Rachel? We had tech companies control controlling information throughout COVID. They were by and large wrong. They were controlling things that were accurate. I'm very concerned that the government has gone too far and this 111 page executive order goes too far, allowing the government to tamp down on innovation and stop the freedom of these tech companies to develop good, wholesome, positive technologies. Look, national security should be protected. I don't think there's anything wholesome protected. about AI. I'm really actually yeah. concerned. I was already concerned about AI. Now I'm worried that Obama's <laughs> in charge of AI. Right. It's all gotten worse. So let's just talk about this yeah. as well, because it's not just AI. I mean, we know he's in Colorado. He's in D.C. Yes. The only president who was not uh, disabled who didn't leave didn't DC. leave town he didn't leave town he and Valerie Jarrett are there and they're running things yeah as well, well as elections in Virginia all of his acolytes are in key power right. positions in the Biden administration from John Kerry his former Secretary of State yes. you got Blinken who was Kerry's number two and if you don't think this policy that we're seeing in the Middle East this That's mincing Obama. back and forth weak diplomacy inviting terrorism inviting our enemies to attack that's classic Obama policy and now we have another example of it. I didn't realize Obama's now doing these robocalls yeah. in Virginia. Guess why? His former Attorney General Eric Holder runs oh. something called the National Democratic Redistricting Committee. Isn't that interesting? Again, mm. the Obama pause in the future of the party, the foreign policy of the party, AI in the party, information flow in the party, and domestic policy. The guy is running this White House. And as example of that, we know from White House staffers this week that Biden's approach to AI was shaped by watching Mission impossible. So maybe Obama is a step yeah. up, given that Tom Cruise was the last briefing on yeah. AI that Biden got. Yeah, no, this is scary. Eric Holder, Valerie Jared, Obama, all still running things. This is the third term. Yeah. Uh, Unelected. Oh, on a much lighter note, oh, yes. I want to mention this. Yeah.